the Republican savior, the rescuer from a demographic cliff, the bilingual former presidential hopeful. Where is he now? Marco Rubio now fighting for his Senate seat in the battleground state of Florida against Democratic House member Patrick Murphy. Unfortunately for the incumbent senator, he's not getting endorsements from some of the Sunshine State's biggest newspapers, including its largest, the Tampa Bay Times, saying, quote, a Senate seat should not be a consolation prize for a failed presidential candidate killing time until his next run for the White House. Then there's the Orlando Sentinel, Florida's third largest newspaper. It supported Rubio ever since his first Senate bid in 2010 and in the Republican presidential primary. The paper is going with his Democratic opponent. While the Sentinel is not sticking with Senator Rubio, he is sticking with his party's nominee for president. This despite the release of Donald Trump's lewd video comments from 2005. Rubio issuing a statement that says in part, quote, I wish we had better choices for president, but I do not want Hillary Clinton to be our next president and therefore my position has not changed. And speaking of Hillary Clinton, she mentioned Senator Rubio at a rally just yesterday in his home state, this coming just days after Hurricane Matthew. It is an unacceptable response for Marco Rubio when asked about climate change to say, I'm not a scientist. Well, well, why doesn't he ask a scientist? And maybe then he'd understand why it's so important that he, representing Florida, be committed to climate change. Rubio has been examining storm damage and focusing on hurricane recovery throughout Florida this past week. And on an international level, Senator Rubio is teaming up with Illinois Senator Mark Kirk. They're urging Secretary of State John Kerry to oppose a UN resolution to redefine the capital of Israel as a supranational city. That means Muslims, Christians, and Jews would have equal claim to Jerusalem. And back to the U.S. This weekend, Senator Rubio is slated to speak at a GOP dinner in Tampa, along with vice presidential nominee Mike Pence. Now you know what's happening with Senator Rubio? For continuing coverage of the 2016 elections, stick with foxnews.com. I'm Emily DeCicio.